Okay, what's up YouTube? My name is Galen and this is Galen's Gadgets. I want to thank you so much for joining my channel today. And if you have not already, please not forget to like and subscribe if you want to keep seeing videos on tech just like this one. So today I will be going over two very budget-friendly smartwatches that I've had for a while now. To the left, I have the Amazfit GTR2 and then to the right, I have the OnePlus watch. So um, I decided to do a comparison between these two watches because they come at around the same price. You can get both of these for well under uh, $200 so I think that's a great price for what these watches do uh, neither of these are like the full future smartwatches such as your Galaxy watch or your Apple watch or a Wear OS watch um, but they will handle all of the bases that you need and I will be going over that as well but another main reason that I decided to do this comparison video is because um, a lot of people ask which do I prefer the Amazfit GTR2 or the OnePlus watch and I'm gonna answer that question for you today so if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments comments and let's just hop into this video now. So first off I'm just going to talk about the design quality and the build quality and the screen quality on these two watches. So in terms of design quality um, that's just like really up to your preference. I can't really put one over the other because you may prefer something different. So personally I like the Amazfit GTR to design a little better just because of the old school timepiece type look um, it just has that old school classic watch type vibe with the ticks around the perimeter and everything the button sticking out and i just really like that red accent on this button as well um, that's just my preference um, but someone else may prefer the more modern smartwatch type style of the oneplus watch so uh, this really reminds me of like a galaxy watch with how the buttons um are like flush to the actual body of the watch so um it's just like a preference thing in terms of um design quality in terms of build quality um they are pretty similar they both have stainless steel and they both are like super sturdy i haven't had any issues with the um with like any scratches or damage to any of these watches and i'm actually pretty clumsy so um that says a lot um cheaper watches i've had um actually did like get nixer things like that on them uh, that has not happened to the body or the screen of any of these watches so um yeah the oneplus watch is actually like a little heavier than the amazfit gtr um i believe it's like nine grams more but you can actually like really feel it i don't know if it's just because of the weight distribution of the amazfit maybe a little better or what but um even though it's only nine grams heavier the oneplus watch it does feel substantially heavier so if you're not into heavier watches you would definitely want the amazfit gtr2 um i like heavier watches so it's not really a big deal to me but i just prefer the amazfit just um in terms of like design quality but in terms of build quality these watches are very similar so in terms of screen quality uh both of these do pack in and AMOLED screens which is like really great for this price um, most other watches at these prices are LCD screens but AMOLED screens just give you more vibrant colors and deeper blacks um, the pixels per inch density and everything is the exact same so um, yeah it's like really similar the screen quality on these two watches can't really put one over the other in terms of the screen quality and both of these watches do get like super bright as well you could um easily get use both of them outside um and they both do have like automatic brightness settings as well so you can um get the brightness to adjust to your environment and they both have an always on display so um you can see the one plus on always on display right here um you can also set that up on the amazfit Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to talk about on these two watches is the battery life. So the Amazfit, um, it does not last as long as the OnePlus watch. I believe the Amazfit advertises 10 days. The OnePlus watch advertises 14. Um, the OnePlus watch definitely lasts longer. Um, I always get from 12 to 14 on the OnePlus watch. And I get between 8 and 11 on the um, Amazfit right here. Um, that's not like too much of a difference when the battery life is like that long um, if it's like from 1 to 10 I definitely feel it but when it's like um, close to two weeks on both of them um, it's not like really a big deal to me so again that's like really a preference thing if you want the watch with better battery life you definitely want to pick up the OnePlus 
okay so now to the fitness tracking so um overall the sensors on these are pretty much the same you get your accelerometer for your steps tracking you get your gps for your location tracking you get a heart rate sensor you get your blood oxygen level sensor and you can use the combination of these sensors to track your sleep schedule or um, sleep tracking and then you can um, also track your stress levels so um yeah in terms of like actual hardware they're very similar in terms of accuracy I'd actually give the edge to the Amazfit GTR 2 I just definitely feel like with the things that I measure consistently which is what a lot of other people will probably use the step tracking and the sleep tracking um, the Amazfit is just um, a little more accurate but in terms of like workout modes if you guys are using this um, just to like track different workout modes the OnePlus watch does have more uh, I believe it has 110 and then the Amazfit GTR 2 has 90 workout modes so you'll get a little more versatility um, in your workout modes with the oneplus watch okay so in terms of software i definitely think this is where a huge separator is i definitely feel like the amazfit gtr2 is just like a lot more refined in terms of software and it just has a ton more features it definitely feels like a multi-generation product it doesn't feel like this is the first product that they ever put out the, i can't say the same thing about the oneplus watch just because it just doesn't do as much as the amazfit does and they are at the same price so i tend to suggest getting the amazfit gtr2 over the oneplus watch mainly because of software we're gonna hop into that now so just scrolling through the ui of this watch all of this is customizable so when you swipe to the left or right from your home screen you get these different cards you can literally like pick what cards that you want so if you want to show your steps right here you could do that if you want to show your weather right here you could do that you could customize all of this and you could do the same thing with your uh, menu so you can rearrange all of these exactly how you want it from the Zep app which is the app that is compatible with this watch I'll show you that in a second um, but yeah all of this is completely customizable and um, one thing a huge a huge thing that I see in the Amazfit that I do not see in the OnePlus watch is a virtual assistant so you could actually summon alexa uh, from your watch from this amazfit gtr2 you can summon alexa and it also has a offline voice assistant so when you're not using the internet you can still use your phone speaker to do a few quick tasks such as um, start a workout or check the weather or something like that you can't do any of that on the oneplus watch even though it has a sp speaker and microphone Okay, one area in which OnePlus did excel, um, they are lacking in features compared to the um, Amazfit watch, but I really like just the fluidity of the UI. The animations actually look really good. I just like the way everything bounces and the scrolling is just like super smooth it definitely feels smoother and more modern than the amazfit gtr2 and another thing i like the notification system a lot better so when you're in the um notifications for the oneplus watch you can get the full message as well as the app icon and i just think that looks like really nice all of these notifications just look way better than they do on the amazfit watch and you can open up the full notification you can close it from there the notifications just look a lot better okay so both of these watches have an app that you have to download to your phone in order to get the best out of these watches um the one plus watch has the one plus health app and then the amazfit watch has the zep app uh, the zep app is definitely a lot better and more feature filled because it's not a first generation product uh amazfit has been doing this for a while now they have multiple wearables so uh, they've been doing a good job with their software um the oneplus uh, health app this is like oneplus's second or third wearable and their first uh smartwatch so um it's just not as uh tuned as the zep app is and um i just don't think it looks as good um and then um it doesn't have nearly as many features as the zep app does like um here are all of the oneplus settings right here so you get music contacts weather spotify advanced features and the sync navigation information and then here are like a lot of the um amazfit gtr settings and then you get tons more here 
so yeah it's just a lot more settings on the um, Amazfit GTR everything is a lot more customizable um, some of my favorite settings are the right this right here the app list management so you can control what apps that you see in your app drawer you can get rid of whatever you don't want to see and you can put whatever is important to you to the very top like I just put the workout to the top and you can see workout is at the top in my app menu so um, I thought that was really nice uh, you cannot do that with the OnePlus watch at all you can rearrange the cars but only from the watch but um, with the maze fit you can rearrange the cars and the app um, the apps in the app drawer and then again um, one of the most important things um, on um, most smartwatches is a voice assistant the oneplus watch does not have a voice assistant even though it does have speakers and a microphone um, on the amazfit gtr2 you can actually trigger alexa and you can use your um, microphone to talk into your watch and just get some quick data from alexa so um that's like really a huge like thing to me um some things that oneplus has um exclusive is their uh, spotify advanced features so basically um how that works is like whenever you play spotify from your phone it'll automatically like pull up on your watch and then you get a few extra settings that you don't get on a lot of other watches such as being able to like the song and you can um play the manual playlist that you have created um, from your Spotify so you always have to be connected to your phone it's not any sort of offline playback or anything you can download music um, on both of these um, watches as well so if you want to go for a run and don't want to bring your phone you can download music and put a uh, pair your Bluetooth device to your watch um, so yeah that's nice as well and another thing that the um, OnePlus has that most other watches don't is a navigation option so whenever you trigger google maps um, on your phone you'll see the uh, directions on your watch as well so um, a lot of watches at this price don't have that but i think just like the main separator is the alexa integration with the amazfit gtr2 and just like all of the other customization options that you get with the amazfit gtr2 okay guys so overall um these watches can go neck to neck in a lot of areas such as like the build quality screen quality the battery life and fitness features things like that but when it's all said and done um the amazfit gtr2 just packs a lot more bang for your buck um there's just so many more things that you could do on the amazfit watch such as your alexa integration and um, just customization and things like that um, it's a lot more the amazfit just has like tons more watch faces too um, as third-party watch faces that you could choose from it's just a lot more features on the amazfit gtr2 and it's a lot more refined and um, the connection is like way more stable on this watch uh, because it's not the it's not its first rodeo um, amazfit has a lot of wearables they have a ton of wearables um, to choose from and um, this is like one of their premium one so um yeah i highly suggest this over the oneplus watch um i think the oneplus watch will get better over time um it showed even now um there have been a ton of software updates to the oneplus watch um but it just doesn't stack up to what the amazfit gtr2 can do so yeah if you have any questions about this watch feel free to leave them in the comments and um thanks for watching